Otis, trying to turn this on. You can bring the defendants out if you'd like. Hmm? Counsel, as you all can see, that light will shine right into the eyes of the witness on the witness stand. So I try to move that uh, projector as far right as possible okay. without skewing the picture. And then I have the witness move as close to me as possible to get, it's a very bad light. So you'll hear me do that. It's like a broken record. Design the courtroom, don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the magic flap right there. If you want to move just, it's better just move the machine instead of this. Okay. Or the whole table, rather. Yeah, that table will roll. Um, what's McLeod's number? I'll text him. Uh, another prosecutor just texted me. He said he's in Division Two. So, start with I want him. Okay. I'm sorry. Now, like yesterday, give me that number. Uh, just a reminder, separation of witnesses uh, is in place, um, and we'll bring the jury in. I'll give them a little bit of information. We'll move right into opening. Thank you. someone to hold the door. It's usually the detective.
Take it. Can you hold that door open, please? Thank you. Watch your step. I don't know if you're crossing any wires. Nope, not yet. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. Morning. Okay. morning. Hope everybody's well. Thanks for being on time. Thank you very much, and everyone may have a seat. Thank you. As you're getting situated, I'll give you a little bit of information about uh, your job, my job, and um, where we're going. You sit here during this trial as judges. You're judges of the facts because you determine what happened. Uh, the people who testify, you, you give, the, give weight to their testimony, uh, credibility, that you feel is uh, appropriate. If you, if you don't feel any credibility is due, you don't give it. Uh, so that's what your job is. Your decision can be based only on evidence. You've heard none yet. Uh, evidence is only sworn testimony from this witness chair and any physical items admitted as exhibits. And those items generally will go back with you um, when you deliberate the case. I obviously am a judge. I'm an umpire, a referee, if you will. Um, I had to make sure that the uh, trial is conducted according to the law. If you hear the uh, attorneys object, uh, uh, don't infer anything from it. I expect it it's, uh, in order for the trial to be conducted as it should. Um, at the end of the case, you will be given instructions. Uh, it's the law. I don't make them up. It's uh, the law. We, tr we try not to use too, much, too many legal terms, legalese, but we do. So uh, it's a sort of a different language. Uh, but you will take the facts as you have found them to be and read the law, and then it's not magic, but uh, you uh, hopefully will reach a verdict. Uh, any questions before we start? The process is, um, I know you've learned all this. We start with openings. Commonwealth always goes first until we get to closings, uh, and the defense would. Uh, but we'll, if you hear me say you have five minutes, again, that's uh, uh, my timer is uh, on the attorney. So. We'll be ready for openings then. Ms. Gungeon? Your Honor, may we approach you quickly? 